Shri Guru Bionamaha. Welcome to another session of your social science children. We have been seeing about a very new lesson in history which is about the first cities. So what is that first city meant? It is all about the Harappan civilization, right? So we have seen about the introduction of Harappan civilization in our previous session. So what is the other word or the other term used for Harappan civilization? It is also called as Indus Valley civilization, right? So Harappan civilization is also called as uh, Indus Valley civilization because it is located on the banks of river Indus. So we are now going to see about the main features of Harappan civilization. So I have already told what are all the main features which we are going to see in this Harappan civilization. So first comes the town planning which means how the city was built. So two parts it was divided one was about upper town and the other was about lower town. So we are going to see about that and then the drainage system. So the drainage system was first introduced in this Harappan civilization. So first time it was used in Harappan civilization, right? And then about the society, the food habits, the cloths and the ornaments used by them. So we have already seen that uh, the cloths were made up of cotton from the new stone age itself, right? So how it was developed when it come to Harappan civilization, we are going to see about that. And then about the economic life, that is the trade or the transport, the work people were doing, the occupations. So all these things along with the seals. So we are going to see all this in the topic called economic life. And then about the art and culture, and then the script that is here writing was developed okay so writing started to develop at this period so we are going to see what are all the scripts used by them how the writing started in this period and then about the religion so their way how they worshipped what are all the gods they have worshipped so previously from the uh, new stone age itself the worship of mother goddess were there already right so the same way how this religion or the religious beliefs developed all these we are going to see in this main features right so first we will see about town planning so town planning seems to be an outstanding feature of Harappan civilization which means the high level of urban planning was there. So the city was very well planned and the houses were built in such a very advanced way, right? And if you see the streets were formed uh, grid-like structure, which means the streets will go through east to west or from north to south, which means, so it will be like this. So here you can see a house, yeah? So the same way this side and another road will go this way. So this is how the streets were very well planned and then they cut each other at right angle. So when they cut, uh, when two lines cut each other in right angle, we call it as a grid, right? So the same way the streets were built in that way. And then highly advanced sewage and drainage system was there and each city was divided into two, the upper town and the lower town. So the highly advanced sewage and drainage system. So people started to understand the importance of cleanliness, health and hygiene, right? So all these developed in this Harappan civilization. So here you can see the site of Harappan civilization, right? You could see the road going straight. It is cutting each other road in right angles only. Yes, right. Then. So another example you can see people sitting on the terrace which means the houses had one or two floors, multiple floors were there. You could see a path, right? That is the drainage system, right? And so it was very well planned city, right? Next, now we will first see about the lower town. So lower town was the place where residential houses of different sizes were built with the burnt bricks of standard size. We have already seen that the bricks of this Harappan civilization are meant for their quality. They are high quality 
bricks, right? So the residential houses of various sizes were built, which means a smaller house or even a house with one or two floors were there, right? Then houses had a well, a bathroom and a covered drain that was connected to street drain, right? So each and every house had a well, right? What do we call this well as? Yes, in Tamil we call it as Kinagal. So these wells, bathrooms were there at the house. At the same way, the covered drain, that is all the waste water will be collected in a drain at the home itself. And that drain will be connected to a drain in the street, right? So this covered drain at house will be connected to the street drain. And then rooms were built around the open courtyard. Some houses had two floors. So what is meant by courtyard? It is the open space in between the house. Yes, so rooms were built in such a way. Right. Now, so uh, we have seen that the straight, uh, streets were uh, cutting each other at right angles. It formed a grid-like structure. So there were also small roads which were connected to main roads, right? So the main roads were broader in size, whereas the small roads were smaller compared to that main roads. So this smaller lanes cut from these roads at right angles. So main roads were broader in size and they were paved with the superior quality bricks such that it lasted for centuries. So, the road was constructed in such a way that it was built with a very high quality bricks. So, repeatedly we are seeing that from the brick itself, it was easy for the archaeologists to find that it belonged to Harappan civilization, right? And then it lasted for centuries and apart from the houses, the lower town had several workshops of craftsmen like ironsmiths, potters and jewellers. So this was the occupation. So from here what do we understand? People in the lower town were engaged in various activities like ironsmiths, potters and jewellers, right? Then, so here you can see a pattern of the house that belonged to Harappan civilization. You could see a staircase, you could see a room like structure. Here you can see a well, right? So here they, the road where bullock cart is going, so which means the transport mode was bullock cart was there, right? So here you can see uh, people being uh, engaged in cooking activities. So like this, the terrace you can see, so like this, the development took place throughout this Harappan civilization. So now we are going to see about citadel. So citadel is a place which was slightly elevated from this lower town. Okay, so this is called as citadel, right? So here, citadel belonged to the upper town. Okay, so what is meant by upper town now? It consisted of a raised area called as citadel where important buildings were found. So citadel was a slightly raised area, so where important buildings were found and the height of citadel served for protection during floods. So this was built in such a plan that, right, citadel is a place like today, nowadays we are telling as marriage halls, no? So it was like that, it was a chowl tree like thing. Okay, so it was slightly elevated. Why was it built like that? Because it could help people during the times of floods. So people in the lower town, when they are suffering during the times of floods, they can shift to this place, right? Then archaeologists have found the remains of many massive buildings in citadels. Then Though we do not know the main purpose of the citadel, so we exactly we do not know for what these buildings were built, but these buildings could have been used for public baths, public meetings, religious meetings or even to store grain. So all these places, because it was big in structure, so we, co we come to a conclusion or from our assumption we come to a conclusion that it would have been used for public meetings or religious meetings or even to store the grains, right? So here you can see the great bath. This is a very significant place of this Harappan civilization. So 
it is located in Mohenjo Dago. So, we have seen about how the place Mohenjo Dago was named, right? So, it is one of the most largest and the striking building of the Harappan civilization. So, this is a very beautiful building that belonged to Harappan civilization. So, it is a huge tank surrounded by corridors, rooms and galleries. So, here in this picture itself you can see this is the huge tank which was surrounded by the rooms and corridors and the galleries, right? So, the bath can be emptied by the drain. See the uh, planning of people in those in that period itself, right? So, they were not educated, they did not know, the, uh, they did not even know what is education, right? But see, the bath, that is the place where people used to bath, the central place, the water can be drained, a separate exit pipe was there, right? So, that can be drained and it can be filled again with the water from the wall nearby. So, again it can be replaced with new water from the wall nearby. So, this is how it was planned very well. And the walls and floor were built with burnt brick and were made watertight with bitumen. Bitumen is nothing but a black chemical substance which will hold the bricks tight, okay, without any gap. Even we use this bitumen, even today we use while uh, laying down the roads. Yes, in Tamil we call it as tar, okay. So, with that, these bricks were uh, uh, were built very firmly so that the water will not leak away, right? And then the scholars have suggested that this huge deep bath could have been a place for ritual bathing or any religious ceremony. So, this places, all these kind of places, the bigger sized places would have been used for some kind of religious activity or even a ritual bathing, right? So, next we are going to see about the drainage system. So, the drainage system you could see some uh, from the house the drainage system being connected to the street drain, okay. So, that was a very well planned drainage system in Harappan civilization. So, Harappan civilization was the first civilization to start off with this drainage system. So, here very advanced drainage and sewage system in fact very much advanced than the system being followed at many parts of the world today, see. So, the drainage system or the sewage system which was followed in this Harappan civilization seems to be very advanced and it is better than some places today, right. So, today we are following all these drainage systems, sewage, we have everything but Harappan civilization seems to be better than these places today, right. And along the streets ran drains covered with loose bricks which can be lifted for cleaning. So, the street drains were covered with brick like things, okay. So, that and it was covered with loose bricks. It was not a tight one or a firm one. It was just covered with loose bricks so that at any point of time if cleaning has to be done, just the bricks can be removed, the drain can be cleaned and again it can be closed. So, see how people have understood the importance of cleanliness. So, waste from house first flowed into the sump. So, a sump is a place where water is stored, okay. So, it can be a good water sump, a fresh water sump or it can be a drainage water sump. So, first what happened? The waste from the house will get collected into that sump. So, all the bathrooms, all the places which are connected with water was first connected to that sump first. So, all the waters will be collected there and there what will happen? This sump will be provided with a filter which it will store the solid waste in itself, okay. The solid waste will stay back in the sump and only the liquid will get drained from the house sump and it will get connected to the or it will just reach the street drain. So, here you can see the solid waste stayed back in the sump. Then liquid waste alone flowed into the street pumps, okay. So, from this we can very well understand that the people of Harappan civilization were highly conscious about hygiene and sanitation. So, here they have start 
to understand, they have started to understand that hygiene and sanitation being clean was very much important to them. So here you can see the sheet drain being covered with the loose bricks, right? So this can be just removed, the drain can be cleaned and again it can be covered. So that is how we have seen about the drainage system and the upper and lower town of the Harappan civilization. See you soon in the next session with more features about the Harappan civilization. Thank you. Sri Gurubhyo Namaha.